the intelligence community is able to figure out immediately who was leaking classified information in a Discord chat, but yet still doesn't want to say whether it came from the lab or didn't come from the lab. That is Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene whining about U.S. government knowledge over the origins of COVID compared to the quick arrest following the leak of military secrets. And at this Homeland Security hearing, Greene is now going to get shredded by that witness there on the right, former intelligence agent, Dr. Mark Lowenthal. Okay, may, may I respond to something else that you said in your comments, Ms. Green? There is a vast, vast difference between tracking a leak on a social media site and determining the origins of this disease. And to compare the two is entirely fallacious, ma'am. Entirely fallacious. Ouch. Dr. Lowenthal, you've said that you you keep your intelligence claims and information nonpartisan. In 2018, Mr. Lowenthal, you were quoted in the New York Times saying that President Trump is the best president that Russia ever had. That that sounds pretty political but to I me. Was, I was no longer an intelligence officer at the time, ma'am. I was I'm a private citizen. I'm intelligence. Well, I think you have a difficult time keeping your political opinions out of your political analyst. Moments earlier, Green proved yet again she has a difficult time processing basic logic. Mr. Lowenthal, with your dedication to being an analyst of information, why is it so hard to determine whether COVID-19 came from the Wuhan Institute of Virology or not? Because the Chinese will not give us access to the information that we need. If they gave us the kind of access that Mr. Fife was talking about, if they gave us samples, if they gave us access to their records, and you will never be sure with the Chinese whether they're giving you the access that you want. We're never going to be able to say with a high degree of certainty. But certainty about her own right-wing talking points is Congresswoman Green's MO. And understanding the secretive nature of the Chinese government may require too much thinking for her. There's an old proverb that seems to apply to this Georgia Republican literally every single week. It goes something like this. Better to stay quiet and have everybody think you are a fool than to speak and remove all doubt. Still, Green is not about to stay quiet about anything, even something she clearly knows nothing about, like the profitability of Anheuser-Busch, which recently put an image of transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney on cans of Bud Light beer. Can every single redneck across America, and I love them because they're my friends, are canceling Bud Light. The real huge group of consumers you should be afraid of is the right mob. But the stock price for Anheuser-Busch keeps going up. The amount of attention and brand awareness for Bud Light is through the roof. And there are now indications that lost sales to some right-wingers have been made up by other beer drinkers who are now buying Bud Light to stick it to conservative politicians. Even Donald Trump Jr., the former president's son, is urging fellow conservatives to drop the Bud Light boycott. Anheuser-Busch totally sh** the bed with this Dylan Mulvaney thing. I'm not, though, for destroying an American and iconic company for something like this. Trust me, the memes have been so good. I'm sitting there chomping that. Like, I want it. But, like, when I actually look into it, I'm not going to blame the whole company for the inaction or the stupidity of someone in a marketing campaign that got woke as hell. Do you think Don Jr. even knows what woke means? Well, that's another story. Anyway, the point is that Marjorie Taylor Greene is at odds with Donald Trump Jr. over Bud Light beer, and she's at odds with common sense when it comes to U.S. intelligence. Thankfully, Democrats still get to put on witnesses at Republican House congressional hearings. And some of these witnesses are clearly tired of the juvenile posturing and idiotic claims from Greene and other right-wing lunatics. So the hearings have been interesting. And the congressional record keeps getting filled with testimony and exchanges establishing that Georgia Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene is arguably a moron. By the way, even some conservative senators like Lindsey Graham are articulating that view. Graham and Greene have been in a feud over U.S. national security. And for any member of Congress to suggest it's okay to leak classified information because you agree with the cause is terribly irresponsible and puts America in uh, serious danger. Green responded in third grade fashion and is now getting ridiculed for it. Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.